Buongiorno beautiful people, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. It's really really early in the morning. I just finished getting ready to start work and all the meetings and everything we need to do but I actually went to the gym this morning and I did once again a full body workout at the gym and I just wanted to start today's vlog with that so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little montage about my workout and then I will see you straight after. Welcome back. So as I said, it's really early in the morning, went to the gym, already showered, dried my hair, blow dried it, put my makeup on, so now I'm ready to go to work. But after this afternoon, I wanted to take advantage of what we could the other day and the fact that I bought some walnuts and cranberries and things like that and do another recipe that incorporates these sort of ingredients but maybe going to the savory side. So mid-afternoon, I really wanted to do a little snack that is still in the Christmas and festive theme which are this sweet potato rounds with herb ricotta and cranberries and walnuts and honey and just it sounds so good so yeah so this afternoon I wanted to cook that with you and do something savory and so that I can stack in the afternoon on that and then tomorrow I really really wanted to go to B&M and TK Maxx as I said yesterday and do a little bit of Christmas shopping and then at the end do a little haul of showing you what I got so yeah really exciting day I'm really looking forward to it I hope that you also look forward to it so now I'm going to go to work and I will see you in the kitchen right so it's the afternoon and I want to do the snack for today which is a sweet potato rounds with herb ricotta and walnuts and cranberries and some honey on top really really good it's a little bit long in the sense that you have to cook the sweet potatoes for 40 minutes in the oven so 20 minutes on one side and then 20 minutes on the other side so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do this while I finish some work and then I will see you after so I'm just going to slice them into rounds put some olive oil and some cinnamon on them and bake them for the first 20 minutes and then flip them around and bake them for another 20 minutes Okay, so as you've seen, the potatoes are done. Uh, some edges are really nice and crispy and obviously the potatoes cook through, so that's really good. Um, I was meant to put the walnuts to roast in the oven now while the potatoes were finishing, but for some reason, I think my oven is slightly too powerful or something, so they cook perfectly. So I think I'm going to now do what it says. Chop the walnuts and put them in the oven for 10 minutes. And then while that is doing, I'm going to prepare the ricotta. So I have to mix the ricotta with uh, one teaspoon and a half of Italian seasoning, some honey and sea salt to taste. So I'm gonna mix that. And then while the walnuts are finished toasting, I'm going to put the potatoes with the ricottas on top in the oven to broil so i'm just going to put the um, grill setting and then while that melts everything is going to be ready and then it's just a matter of assembling oh my god 
god, it looks so good. I'm so impressed. They honestly look so good and yummy, so I'm going to take a small one and do a taste test. Let's see. I know we're not supposed to have parties, but if we were allowed to, I'm going to make this again. They're so good and they're honestly so easy. It takes a little bit to cook the sweet potato, but besides that, easiest recipe ever done, honestly. I'm literally going to sit here while I edit this with you. So yeah, so work has been okay. I am getting a little bit, not anxious, but worried about next week because that's when we're going to start going back to the office. And so it's going to be really, really hard to do the content I want to do, even if it's every other day, because I get out the house around 7 a.m. And yeah, 7.30, sorry. And then I'm back at seven in the night. So, I don't know, I don't like doing videos or vlogs or workouts or whatever in the dark like right now because I feel like the light is very artificial, the post editing is really bad and it just looks bad. But I think that's what I'm gonna have to do, so I apologize in advance if the vlogs from next week onwards I'm going to go a little bit down in quality, but we're only working until the 16th which means that I still have the weekends to either film in advanced workouts or do something during the daylight of the weekend and so that you know is a little bit more balanced and it looks a little bit better but as well from the 16th onwards yeah we work from home so it's going to be exactly like right now which means as well that it's going to be a little bit easier for me to do everything and not be edited until 2am to be able to upload something for the day after for 5 but besides that, it's not bad, it's just a challenge and I think that if I manage to do this and still enjoy it, it's actually going to be really good for me because it's going to make me realize what I'm able to do and what type of content I'm able to put out under pressure and under a very tight schedule, which means that then afterwards in January and for the future, I know how hard it can be and I also probably will have develop some strategies and techniques to do things more efficiently and productively so yeah i think it's good to be better afterwards but regardless i am actually really really enjoying it and i hope that you do as well i'm honestly wanting to do more and more so tomorrow we're going to take a max and bnm and that is going to be fun i really hope that we can find some nice nice decoration for the house because i really really want to decorate the house a little bit more and make it a little bit more festive and as well i don't know you but i miss shopping and i miss buying things and i have been saving so now i want to spend this so that's really good i'm just eating right now i'm sorry and besides that i think it's making my December a little bit more festive. Of course, I like to watch vlogmas from other YouTubers and I've tried to see it as a watcher and not as me getting ideas because I don't want to fall into a trap of copying too much or even worse, comparing myself too much because, I mean, what I have available, the time that I have available, where I am right now, where you know there isn't much around in this little town, I don't have a car, so I have so many other limitations and I don't want to make the experience less enjoyable just because I can't you know put out the type of content that I wish I could and the type of content that I see other youtubers making so yeah I think that I'm just going to try and enjoy as much as possible, learn from it as much as possible and obviously I really hope that it is like a learning curve and then next year I can do even better and the following year even better because it's something that I think is going to be like a personal challenge as well and it's going to be a way for me to see how much I can grow and how much I can improve so yeah I think that's something actually really good as opposed to something that it makes me feel bad and that's all <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and eat a little bit more I'm going to finish work and then I think I'm just going to go ahead and see you tomorrow morning because it's Saturday and I'm going to try to be as entertaining for you as possible. And yeah, good night for me and see you in two seconds. Look at that, it's such a beautiful day outside. 
It's going to be a nice sunny day. I think it's still really, really cold, but at least it's not gonna be gray and rainy as the past week. Good morning, my boy. Nice you. Good morning. How are you? Hi, more? Okay. Good boy. <laughs> Buongiorno beautiful people, it's the day after and I'm getting ready to go to B&M and TK Maxx. It seems like there's quite a lot of people around so I'm a little bit wary about that but I'm sure we're gonna be fine as soon as we social distance and we follow the rules. And yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight into the shops because I don't know how long it's going to take with the queues outside because I've seen it before that they're quite long. So hopefully it's not going to take too long, but I'm really excited. So I will see you in b &M in less than a second. I'm walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July. Up till now. I wanted to do some homemade bubbles like that, so buying clear bubbles and then put stuff inside. So we'll try that to do the DIY and let's see how it looks. Alright, so this is what I was going to get if I didn't find the baubles in John Lewis. I was thinking also to buy something like this, but I don't know. I've never done it before, so I'm not too sure. And then in terms of ribbon, I was looking for something like this, but this is only too gold and flashy. So I ordered something on Amazon, which is like the organza, which is only transparent. So hopefully that will work. And then I wanted to buy something like this, but in white. Um, I haven't found it yet, so I hopefully I will find it somewhere because that will look really nice. Um, but this is too silver, it's still metallics, but I think it's way too silver for my style, but they're really, really cute. And then we have the chocolate. Um, my partner wants more. He'll probably really like this. So I think I'm gonna get it. I think this would work really cute on the windowsill, actually. What do you think? Looks really, really nice. I thought there was going to be much more. But there isn't much else here, unfortunately. I can get some of this for my cat, which he loves these. And that's it, and I think we're just gonna go to TK Maxx. So we have arrived at TK Maxx, and it's already really, really full. Look at that, this is all it's so cute. I wish I could have all the things to make a table so nice and Christmassy and with an actual theme. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree. Wow, these are so cute and funky. <laughs> These are honestly in the Renaissance theme. <laughs> A little bit too big for my tree. But it's so cute. Thought it never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. When I got this last year for my future sister-in-law, she was so so pleased. So that's definitely a really good Christmas present. Can you have any size? Look at that. So nice. Ooh, this is even nicer. Look at that. I might get it for my partner actually. 
and here actually I could maybe get some pillows for the bedroom that are a little bit more Christmassy. This one or this one or both. It's just you and me tonight. I'll spend all this Christmas. If I had enough shelf space, I would definitely get decoration like that and the trees and candle stand. Oh my goodness, look at this. Maybe leave it at the window, that would be so cute. I want to do some cookies next in one of the recipes, so I definitely need some cookie cutters. Come over here, now it is time to get out in the snow, lighting a light with you. Tablecloth for the thing. And we have the ranch, so I don't think I'm gonna need a tablecloth. But if we get a bigger house with a bigger table where I can actually place the tablecloth, that would be really, really nice. Uh, but for now, I think, yeah, the table run is going to be enough, honestly. I don't think they have the coffee I like this year. Oh, that's a shame. I can't see it. Oh, I was looking forward to it. Okay, so because it was near light, we went into next and I wanted to see whether we can find some nice cute decoration for the trees, even though we're going for white and some nice stocking fillers, aren't they? Obviously now I can't do Christmas stocking fillers for you because you're here. It's so cute. Some... I feel like these are too small and these are too big. So neither of them will do for us, but they're really, really cute. And this is just huge. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe we can get one like this to miss much. Yeah, should we get two of these? For the tree? I think they're cute. You can try them and then if you don't like them, you can change them. Oh, this would go really well from the one I bought. Some potpourri for the trays I have at home. That would be nice, actually. Do you want some potpourri for the tray? To make it Christmassy. What do you think? Yeah? That's cute. You better lose your belts. Drinking up wine by the fire. Don't care of anything else. It's Christmas. And some kind of love, my friend. Oh my goodness. Can I take it out of the Leo, let me take it out. It doesn't even give me the time to take it out. Oh my God, he destroyed the packaging. There we go. Oh my God, he's growling. He wants it. Is that yours? <laughs> he's gonna walk around now with that and he's going to bash everything. What's your problem? Oh my god. Are you okay? Alright, I'll leave you alone. No one is taking away from you. Oh my god. So we're back from shopping. We're going to have quickly a little bit of lunch and then I'm going to do a little haul of everything I bought because obviously I was getting a little bit Plastic with all the people and the bags and whatnot. And now I'm just going to have a little sandwich with some turkey slices, salad and sauces and you know, nothing too fancy, but it's really, really good. And with a little bit of mustard, it just makes a huge difference. So I'm going to have that and then I will see you in a little bit. And this is the damage done. So we got two bags from TK Maxx, one from B&M and then a few bits and bobs from Next. So I'm really, really excited to show you what I've got. So I got my coffee. So disappointed that I didn't find the coffee I was talking about in TK Maxx. I was so looking forward to it. And yeah, I hope that they will restock it and that they will be back. Otherwise I will have to find a way to buy it online because as I said, we don't have home scents here and I have no way of finding any online because it costs, if I find it on Amazon, it costs us something like ridiculous that no one should pay that much for coffee. But yeah, that was a little bit of a disappointment. But besides that, I'm actually really, really happy with everything I got and I can't wait to show you. So I was thinking to do it just chronologically to make it easier. Are we okay like that? Yeah. Okay. 
So as I said, I want to go buy store. So from B&M, the first thing that I got and I really, really liked were these super cute pendants, which either will go in front of, in the kitchen or, oh, one is missing a bow. One is missing a bow. I don't know if it's in the bag. I'm gonna have to exchange it or something. But yeah, so these really, really cute hearts with bows and little hearts inside, which I thought it could go really, really well in the kitchen on each cupboard. So I will put some Pinterest pictures that I remember seeing where I did exactly that, where they put these pendants on every other or each cupboard in the kitchen. It looked really, really cute. So I thought this would be perfect. And it was only, yeah, two pounds each. So not even that expensive and they're really really cute so it's a shame that one of them is missing a bow but I'm sure I can just go and exchange it for something else but yeah this was the first little thing and I'm actually really excited for these and I will put them in the next vlog app so you can see it then the other thing I was looking at were baubles but my tree because it's really small I cannot buy regular baubles that are really really big and a the weight is just too much and B, it just will look so out of proportion with the other bubbles. So I skipped that, but as I showed you, I saw a few that could have gone really, really well. But I did see some really exciting things for decor, such as this ones. Now, again, they're not very expensive and they're not match, but I thought on the window seal next to the other side where the tree is, so the opposite side, um, this would look really, really cute and they're just cozy and simple and then obviously I can replace the candle so I didn't think that it wasn't that bad and they're only five pounds each so if my partner likes them I think they will stay not only for Christmas like more permanently um, but yeah they're really really cute and I really really like them and I thought they were good money for but good value for them yeah good value for money thank you then I got these which I thought it would be really, really good as a stocking filler and also something really nice to do during Christmas day and to just make a little bit more fun, especially because, as I said, it's just me and my partner, so we're probably gonna run out of things to do. So I'm trying to plan ahead and find little cute bits like this, which, you know, they're not too expensive, but they're really good and they make you have a nice time. And I don't know, we love this series, so really good I'm not saying anything because he's listening to me hey. yeah so I can't name what series it is or what it is but you can see it Queen's Gambit. no stop stop trying to find Queen's out right. I'm not I'm not saying anything then I got him this which you know I think I'm just gonna give it him now or later uh, but he was complaining that I got basically two oven calendars because the oven calendar I bought for him is a couple of oven calendar. So I'm trying to buy him as many chocolates as possible so I don't hear him complaining. And these are the few, the first few things. He loves caramel and this style of cakes or snacks or whatever you want to call it. So I got him this. And then this one is actually because we used to drink this a lot when we got engaged because we went into this um, resort all-inclusive and we used to sip Bailey's on ice almost every day and it reminds me of that so I thought he would really really like this and yeah that was everything from B&M which again is not much but as I said I would have gotten more if my tree would have allowed me to get more and as well as I said the ribbon I ordered the organza I, I'm actually not quite sure if you could hear me much when I was trying to vlog. If not, I'm sure I put some caption underneath. But as I said, the I want to put a ribbon around the tree, but that was too gold and too flashy. So I ordered a organza one, which is sort of still cream and gold, but more transparent, more light, and not as in your face as that one that I saw in B&M. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's everything from B&M. And then from TK Maxx, I got loads of things. So the first thing, as you saw, are this super Christmassy pillows, which are really, really soft and is sort of the same material of the ones I have now on the sofa from uh, TK Maxx. 
So yeah, I'm really excited for this and I really wanted to finish the bedroom and have something that matches both the bedroom and the lounge that is Christmassy and is, you know, is not too tacky. I mean, obviously it's Christmas themed, but I thought it was really, really cute and it's the same dark, darkish red as the bed so I thought that was perfect so yeah this big one I think is gonna go on the bed with the um, golden pillow that I have which I think goes really really well and then this one can go on the sofa um, matching the throw that I showed you in the decorating vlog which was vlog must day one so yeah these are really nice and my fiance is really hypercritical but I think he would actually like this so hopefully yeah he likes them <laughs> stop it <laughs> Okay, so next from TK Maxx, I got these little houses, which are ceramic, and they, I don't know, they reminds me of what um, Karis would get. so James and Karis, BZB Karis, I don't know if you know them, they're my favorite couple on the internet. Um, she bought something similar from Hobbycraft, which was in actual raw ceramic because it was done so you can paint it So this is obviously finished and sort of translucent or whatever So these are finished houses, but you just put a candle in it and you can put it on the windowsill and If not, I was thinking of putting them on the microwave in the kitchen I thought it could be really really nice with some things around it to make it a little bit more festive, but yeah, I thought these were really, really cute and not even that expensive. I think they were five, four pounds ninety-nine. I mean, they were really, really cute, and it gives me that um, I really like these. And then some other things. So this one, I'm not gonna say what it is because obviously it's for my partner. So as I said, really good Christmas present. Something that I've done before to people and they really loved it. And always a different style, you can get different material, it could be marble or you know other things that could be done with, but the general idea is really really good and I know that he will love it because we have been having some few days having this. Again, I can't say too much because he's hearing me, but yeah, I thought this was really nice, not that expensive, 10 pounds. It actually I think it's value more if you buy it on Amazon or somewhere else it could easily cost you 20 30 so I'm really happy I got this cute one with this little insert and the set for 10 pounds I thought that was really good and yeah I'm sure any TK Maxx in your area will have either this or something really similar I did get some baubles so as I said I wanted to go for metals and the tree right now is mainly on the golden side so I just wanted to add a few silver details and a few white details to get the full range of metallics I was talking about if you haven't seen the first vlogmas day one then I will obviously go see it <laughs> but I will also pop a picture of my inspiration to decorate the tree is so that you can see more or less what I'm talking about and I think yeah some metallics on the silver side will look really good on the tree so that's why I got these ones and they're not too big I mean they look big but they're not too big and it was only seven pounds which I thought was really really nice I think they look really cute and they're not let me see if I can show you they're not circle they're more like droplets or pear shape I wouldn't know how to say it yeah they're sort of pear shaped as you can tell I thought it was really really cute and it looked a little bit different to what I bought so far so hopefully we'll just elevate the look I don't know if you can see the sort of crackled gold that it has on it and then the silver little sparkles and it had many many sets either exactly like this or very similar so I am sure that you can find as I said more like this then I got the matching tree set with that I don't know if I'm going to keep this so this was more to see whether these are too big for any reason and so I do like the effect of having this on the tree but I want something smaller for it so I got these little trees which are exactly the same with the mix of golden and silver just in case because I don't think that having both I think it would be too much with both so I just thought I can try both and return whichever other one so maybe we can keep it for next year where hopefully we will be in a bigger house with a bigger tree
I'm really excited for that. I got more decorations for the tree, but I was at the checkout. I paid the guy serving me bagged everything in the bags, gave me the bags, and suddenly we heard a crack. And we looked into it and there were pieces everywhere and three different decorations got completely shattered and they were broken and there were pieces everywhere so he had to obviously give me a refund so yeah that was a little bit not nice but this one <laughs> lasted really well because it's just a little wooden bear that is really really cute to have as the first white single piece in the Christmas tree for, to get some whites in it. So that was really cute. And then, as I said, I want to do some cookies. I think some gingerbread cookies or some Christmassy festive cookies. And I don't have any cookie cutters. So this was really cute. It was just a set of three for four pounds. As I showed you, there was bigger sets with way more shapes, but I was thinking that this is just more practical and I can store it easily because here in this kitchen, is so small we have such a problem with storage and that's why we have most of the things out in the workspace of the kitchen counter because literally there's no space in the cupboard to put anything so yeah i thought this was more practical and i'm sure that my partner will appreciate me in trying to be practical so yeah i got this cute little stars of three different shapes which i think is you know varied enough to make a cute set of cookies once i bake them and then more little chocolates for my partner, of course. So again, for the stocking filler. So that's everything I got from Ticket Max. And then I went to Next, as you saw, which was a little bit disappointing just because I went into the website and I really saw a few little things that I really liked. So I went there with this image in my head. Oh, I can get this. Oh, I can get that. And then I didn't find anything as if it was being open for months and I literally went the day before Christmas so a little bit disappointed but I did get these two white bubbles as I said to have something metallic and something white and something silver in the tree but as I said these are the big bubble size that I said that probably won't go on my tree so I'm not too hopeful about these two but if they do work, I think they're really, really cute and will go well with the bear and will go well with metallic ones um, and just make a little bit of a contrast. So hopefully it will work out. And then finally, from next, I got this box of potpourri, like you saw, and it's something that I really wanted to buy for a long time. And every single time it just looked not as nice aesthetically at least and i thought that this box was varied enough and with nice colors of oranges and red and green and that i can put it either in a vase that i have or in the tray that i have now on the windowsill which has some shelves and things like that that i live there the whole year so yeah some this would be something nice to swap it with the only thing that i'm wary is if my cat shows interest for it and if I put it on the tray that I have on the windowsill it's at an easy access to him and yeah if he shows any interest and try to eat it I probably have to put it somewhere else that you know if, if it's in a vase or something like that that he can't easily go in but yeah we will see hopefully he hasn't shown that much interest on the tree which I was really surprised and really happy about so hopefully it will be the same thing he won't care at all and he will just move on and play with his toys <laughs> so yeah this is everything from B&M TK Maxx and next I hope that you liked it and that you agree with some of the choices I made um, if you don't please let me know if you did then please let me know as well I really want to know your feedback and maybe I can get some more things that you saw in the shops that maybe I didn't get or any more ideas of some links or things that you might suggest will work well in my little tiny tiny apartment i really hope you enjoyed it i really hope you liked the recipe and going out with me and the little haul that i made and i'm really looking forward for the next video which i'm already going to probably start filming tonight so it's going to be a little bit hectic to edit and publish this but i'm looking forward to it and if you liked it please don't forget to give it a like because it supports my little tiny channel and subscribe and hopefully i will see you next time ciao